Welcome to PseudoWrite, the AI that's here to help you write stories. When you first log in, you'll see tips and tricks on your right-hand side in the information panel. All of your projects are arranged by cards. You can click new to start a new project, but today we're gonna to go ahead and work with one that I've already started, Lady Amelia Linhaven Mystery. So I double click on that and it brings me into the main writing interface. We can always rename our project right here on the left-hand side. We also can go ahead and title our documents on the left side here by double clicking and going ahead and changing that. I'm gonna go ahead and call this chapter one. If I was already working on the story in say another software, I could go ahead and import a Word document, bring those documents into my project. Right here I have written, a black Bentley eight liter sped up the gravel drive of Lynn Haven, the Norfolk estate of Lord and Lady Thurgood. The arrival of the vehicle and the driver, Lady Amelia Pembroke, brought an expression of disgust to the face of Mr. Tom Waters, the butler of Lynn Haven for the last decade. In his opinion, there was no need for any outsider to be involved in the nasty business of Miss Bradley's death. Summoning all of his dignity, Mr. Waters motioned for the footman to open Lady Amelia's door. Their visitor stepped out in a posh outfit for a 1930s lady of the aristocracy in a deep lavender hue. One of the easiest ways to get started with PseudoWrite after you write into the main area is with the describe feature. Say I didn't know how to describe the posh outfit for a 1930s lady of the aristocracy. So if I highlight this entire section here, I can click describe, or if I don't want all of the five senses, I can toggle up here and choose which ones that I want. I've already run it once, I click the describe button, and it'll put the cards over here on the right-hand side. So if I open those up, it'll show me different sight, such as a tight knee-length skirt glued to her hips. I can go ahead and put that in there. I'm gonna just copy it. Their visitor stepped out, and I'm going to put that in there. Stepped out in a tight knee length skirt, or stepped out with, I guess, with a tight knee length skirt glued to her hips, a silk lined v neck sweater that hugged her chest and fell loosely over her shoulders. I would want to put the color beforehand so that people can imagine that. So I'm going to cut that out. Stepped out uh, wearing deep lavender, wearing a tight, deep lavender knee length skirt glued to her hips. I'm going to put a period there. A silk lined v-neck sweater. We'll do a white one. A white silk lined v-neck sweater hugged her chest and fell loosely over her shoulders. Now there was another detail in here that I wanted where it said this part right here, Lady Amelia placed a violet clutch um, under her elbow and adjusted her hat. It covered her, low, her blonde hair in a low broad sailor's cap tucking one side behind her ear. Now you'll notice I chose as the creative director which sequence this goes in because I wanted the people to understand what she looked like. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do her movement. Let me go ahead and copy this and bring it in. Lady Amelia placed a violet clutch under her elbow, not in her elbow, because that's kind of strange, under her elbow or I think we'll say tucked, tucked a violet clutch under her elbow and adjusted her hat. And then I'm gonna say the low broad sailor's cap covered her blonde hair, tucking one side behind her ear. There we go, so now we have Lady Amelia. Now let's say I don't know what happens next. I can go ahead and just uh, keep my cursor here and I can click this right button. Now, before I click the right button, I have the option of giving it some information about my story. If I do this drop down here, I can click to my right settings and I can choose my creativity. This controls how closely it needs to stick to my prompt. I'm gonna bring that down a little bit because I want it to be very specific to what's already happening in the story. I can control how many cards I have, such as two through six, and I can control the length of the cards. Um, we'll keep it at 150 words and two cards. And the key details here, I will put in here, um, Miss Bradley, is an upstairs maid who died under suspicious circumstances. And I will say Lady Amelia is here to investigate. One other thing in the key details, let me go ahead and give the um, genre and I'll put a 1930s uh, murder mystery. And now I'll just click right and the AI will guess what could happen next. So it's starting to form those cards on the right hand side. Even though it was a dreary gray day, Lady Amelia's presence brought a ray of sunshine to the estate. I don't think that's accurate because remember, I have that Mr. Waters is not happy. Mr. Waters offered her a stiff bow and said, good morning, Lady Amelia. Lady and Lord and Lady Thurgood have requested your presence in the parlor. Oh, that's perfect. I like that. I like his little stiff bow. So I'm going to copy and paste that right in here. Lady Amelia followed the butler into the mansion, admiring the grandeur of the estate as they walked. She heard, heard rumors of Miss Bradley's death and was eager to get to the bottom of it. I don't know that there would be rumors there because again, it should have probably just happened. Um, and this kind of jumps a little bit because it has entering the parlor. Let me see what else is here at the next card. Welcome to Lynn Haven. I hope you'll find your accommodations. I'm not gonna use that, but I like here, 
how she immediately jumps into the investigation. And I think that she would start doing that as she's walking in with Mr. Waters. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste this in because I like it. Um, and I like that his face grew red, but he nodded in agreement, followed him in the manner a determined set to her jaw. The investigation of Miss Bradley's death had begun. I like that as well. And we'll go ahead and copy and paste that in there. And now I can use a feature uh, that is called guided right. I can click down here over the right hand side, the left hand side and click guided. And when I click guided, wherever my cursor is, and I put it right there in the middle, pseudo right can actually suggest what could happen next right there in the story. So I went ahead and clicked that button so it would give me some suggestions. She could begin asking questions. They could do new evidence. Mr. Waters travels to a nearby town. I'm going to have that Mr. Waters reluctantly agrees and says whatever his lordship requires of him to signify he does not want to help Lady Amelia. Now you could actually use guided right to put in any information from your outline that you have. And once I click that, now I have right here, very well, my lady, whatever his lordship requires of me, I shall do. Ooh, I love this. This is feeling very Downton Abbey to me. I will answer your questions to the best of my ability, though I must warn you that this is something that I would prefer not to be involved in. Ooh, I love, I love it. We're gonna put this right here. We're gonna put some space because they're walking and I'll put in what he says very well, my lady. And now we can go up here. And this is where I would continue writing the story and deciding what would happen next. But I wanted to give you a quick little view of pseudo write and some of the things that you could use. If you needed to brainstorm, for example, certain things, you can click the brainstorm button and we can do something else or we could do plot points. Let's do plot points. Let me ask it to give me a list of ways a maid might be murdered in um, a 1930s English country estate. And I'm going to take out the context, although I could put in there, I could put that it's a historical mystery, female sleuth. And I'm not going to give it any examples, but this is somewhere where I could say like poison or knock down the stairs, but I want to see what pseudo right will do. And I'll go ahead and click start. Oh, there we go. Poisoned by a tainted bottle of wine. I like it. Slipping on a wet floor and falling down a flight of stairs. Lots of poisoning. Stabbed by a pair of scissors. Oh, I like that one. That's, you can't really say somebody killed themselves that way. I don't know that slipping on the wet floor makes sense. That makes it too much like an accident. Strangled with a silk scarf. I like that one too. Drowned in the bathtub in the master's bedroom. Well, now that is some drama. So let's go ahead and add that. Once I'm happy with the ones that I have here, I'm gonna go ahead and save and exit. And you'll notice that everything that you brainstormed is conveniently right here on the right-hand side up in your top right. There's many more features of PseudoWrite. This was just the quick getting started guide. Um, if you start writing into it, you can immediately use write function or guided write or the describe to make your writing even better. Thanks for watching.